Hey guys, welcome back again to the Dave's Dementia. Welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel where chaos and insanity will always reign supreme. Welcome back again. We have yet another unbox. If you've been following our videos, we've been doing the Falcon Winter Soldier collection. Or should I say the Disney Plus collection. I said I wasn't going to do it, but I did it. I found six of the figures all at one place. And a very awesome uh, toy and collectible shop in Lake George, New York. Called Heroes Hideout. Very awesome place if you're in the Lake George area. Traveling with some fam. Hit them up. They had some amazing collectibles. Everything from, from Funko Pops to Marvel to you name it. G.I. Joe's. Everything and anything you can think of, guys. Definitely worth a check out. And you can also hit them up on their website at HeroesHideout.com. So, what do I have today? Well, we got the Scarlet Witch. We have WandaVision, Scarlet Witch herself. Now, I jumped on, on these because I said, what the hell, how often am I really going to see all the figures in one place? And I already had uh, Captain America, so. The Falcon, the Falcon Captain America, that is. So, I already had him. I said I wasn't going to build him, but damn it, they're all in the same place. How often does that happen? I said, screw it, and I bought them, so. We've already uh, covered Loki, Baron Zemo, and Vision, that is the Vision from WandaVision, the all-white Vision that we have. And now we have Scarlet Witch, so let's check her out. Now, I do love the sculpt on this, though. And I, without even opening this up, I mean, the sculpt on here looks amazing. Now, let's, as always, I always show you guys the art on the box. We have some very cool art right there of Elizabeth Olsen. I mean, it's very close to Elizabeth Olsen. Some some of it looks a little different from her. But, of course, she's in her full Scarlet Witch persona right there. Now, of course, on the box, we have Wanda Maximoff's abilities of telekinesis, energy manipulation, and neuroelectric interfacing. Allow her to read thoughts and give her targets waking nightmares. Now, if you haven't watched WandaVision, uh, you definitely should. I mean... At first, you're, it's one of those shows where you're sitting there, you're, you're not too sure, like, where is this even going? But then after a couple of episodes, it starts picking up. There's definitely some Easter eggs all over the place. And it definitely culminates with, uh, and personally, my thoughts are, this is definitely going to lead into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. But we'll see if it truly does. I mean, that's what, where everyone's thoughts are going with it, especially with the ending. I'm not giving away anything, guys. I'm not giving away a single thing. So, let's cut uh, right into it. And, of course, on the box we have, it shows the figures and what pieces they'll actually have with them for the Build-A-Wing set. So this is not Build-A-Figure, and I'm not going to go into that again. So what we do see is we get a piece of, of uh, Captain America's wing and we get a alternate set of hands for Wanda. Now what's cool about that is this. You have energy effects. Pretty much they're like glowing translucent hands. Let me give you guys a better look right there. And of course we have the energy effect already on her arms. So I mean you can just swap out the regular hands and put those on there. I think that would be a pretty cool effect. I want to give you guys a close-up of those hands in just a moment. I just want to get the get a very cool uh, wing piece right there. I think this is a pretty good uh, paint, paint job on here. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but I mean... What do you expect, really, right? I mean, if you're really good with paints, you could probably do the uh, gray plastic and more of a metallic silver, which is very tempting, but I'm not going to do that because I'm not that skilled of a painter. So I'm going to throw this back here and put that back in the box. And then we'll move on with Wanda here. The 
there we go. Very cool detail. Obviously, this slides up and down. Like with a lot of Hasbro's items, it's that soft plastic kind of energy effect. I mean, you can wrap, wrap it around her hand, but it will slide down. So, I mean, one, one way around that is you could always kind of, uh, using the hinge, kind of, uh, hinge is a little stiff on her arm. I don't want to force it because I don't want to break her arm. So... And here we go. I bent the arm so we got the energy effect kind of like as if it's focusing around her arms. We got her hand details right here. Let's switch back to the other view, guys. Okay. So we get the very cool just casual moving of the fingers like well, almost like you're accessing a combination. So we have that little energy effect here. I want to keep this, but this is sliding up and down her arms because her arms are pretty thin. They're a little bony, I'll be honest. So let's pop off the hand. Get those energy effect hands on. Really love that translucent look. Let's take a look at how it looks once we have it on. Now she looks like an extra from a Star Wars movie. There you go. I kind of like that pose right there. So we got the energy effect surging around her arms, and then we have the translucent hands. Let's get a nice little close-up right there. I mean, that looks amazing. I mean, they really did her justice. I love the sculpt. I mean, one thing Marvel's been ex been really excelling at is like the sculpt of the hair, and of course we have it as if she's floating up in the air. Her hair is flowing like she's flying through the air. Let's see if I can get one of these to work and hold her. Bought some real inexpensive, cheap uh, stands from Amazon. Some of them have been pretty good, some of them not so much. So there we go. Her flying through the air. Her feet kicked, kind of crooked back. Ready to attack. I love this. I love how that looks. Now, here's her with white vision. I'm not too sold on him. I mean, it's a pretty, it's an okay figure. I mean, it's good. It's just, I wish there was a little bit more wasn't a fan of the all white vision. I know it was a thing from the comics. You don't have to leave the nasty comments. I mean, I know he was... It's just the execution of the look of him was what I had issues with. So there we go. Definitely Wanda, um, she she looks phenomenal. She really looks phenomenal here. Um, the little cowl, her little uh, tiara, if you will, um, doesn't look like it's removable. I wouldn't try to either. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be removable, so don't even try it, guys. But she looks fantastic. I mean, they made her look amazing in the show. 
and the figure itself is even amazing you know I love that they kept that color you know because obviously the lineage of the Maximoffs you know what I'm talking about uh, but she looks fantastic I mean I love this uh, right next to Zemo that's gonna be like her and Zemo are pretty neck and neck um, Zemo is gonna be my top one if it came down to the two uh, because he's got the Winter Soldier book, the alternate ha the alternate head, another set of hands, and the gun. They gave him a ton of accessories, but they made her look fantastic. I mean, she looks killer right there. So, so far we got two killer figures and two not so killer figures. The other one being uh, Loki. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, um, Wanda gets a 9 to a 9.5. So, 9 to a 9.5, she's rocking right now as far as my point system. I love the hands. Don't get me wrong, I do love the hands here. I mean, the detail of the gloves right there. I mean, they are spot on. I mean, we're not used to getting that kind of detail, and I'm glad to see that they're still putting as much detail as possible on the MCU figures. I, Yes, I know that's Disney+, Plus, but it's still the MCU universe, so that's how I feel about it. Now, so there we are, Scarlet Witch. Uh, like I said, 9 to a 9.5. Now, if you guys do me a favor, um, I mentioned it before, but please do me a favor, go into the video description below and check out our YouTube Warriors. So it's the lowest a list of five to six other youtubers that have amazing content amazing channels and i want you guys to please do me a favor and check out their content you won't go wrong by checking it out they have some amazing content they support my channel they help me get to where i am and i'm just trying to pay it back to them as well guys so please do me that favor and also if you haven't already give me a thumbs up if you like this video if you didn't give me a thumbs down if you have questions or concerns, you thought of something that I didn't think of to feature in this video, hit me up in the comments section below or email me at davesdimension78 at gmail.com or better yet, message me at davesdimension on Instagram. So, as always, I want to thank everyone for supporting the Dimension. If you haven't already, hit that little red button, hit that bell for notifications, and become a part of the Dimension, guys. So until next time, this is Dave from Dave's Dimension saying keep on busting. And I'll catch you on the flip side.